Okay. And okay. I measured all the blank spots, and Peter made, supposedly made a four paintings related to the size of the, so, uh, these sizes, but we don't know, so I think what we might have to do is, like, well, find the least windy spot, maybe, or the, right in that little nook, you think that's yeah. less windy? And then, um, yeah, open one and see how big it is. Okay. And one thing I did not bring was a measuring tape. So we'll have to just take out. Uh, like, a piece of Since so much of that brown and white ones have been ripped off, we could decide to me to put, put one, over one of these over it. One broom. Perfect. Yep. So that is whoa. Okay, we'll just leave it right on here. Maybe the other way too, or it doesn't matter. Okay. So the other way is yeah. We have to figure out where it's long enough, uh, where it can fit. You want to move so maybe line? measure how many brooms it goes along. Okay, or I can pace it too. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Cool. Should we fold it back up? I would roll it in the way that we're going to put it up. Okay. So roll it from bottom to top. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, this is great. Off we go. So you guys, we need to get our gloves on. There we okay. go. So the overall experience is that we are Starting at the top, we're gonna wallpaper paste on the brick before we even walk over there. Like one person is gonna do the initial wallpaper paste. I don't think we need our ladders, but we could have the wallpaper paste lined up in the three buckets so we can each be grabbing it. And then we place the paper at the top. Some people are the holders and some people are the painters. And we're painting uh, the, we're painting underneath, sticking it on, and then we're painting it on really gently. Mm -hmm. And I found that that in some cases, a little bit of the hand actually works well mm -hmm. as well. And then we're gonna unroll it just a little bit after we do the wall again, and we're gonna keep moving kind of the bubbles up and out. Right. Okay. And it's just like really smooth, soft work because it, it can rip so yeah. easily. Yeah. So here's the, Buckets. Yeah, we could put through. Okay. Probably uh, just do like. Yeah, we'll probably just do like the first four inches. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty thick. I like those more so this way. Okay, and look at the overall end of hers. A little that bit to the right. There, like an inch to the right. Okay. I, I think that's good. Okay. Great. So we're going to try and adhere this. All right, well. Now, my only fear is, are we on the same brick lines? Because doesn't it look like oh, that's yeah. halfway up and this yeah. is at the bottom? Uh, 
So I think we need to peel ours off a little. Because this is definitely straight. Yeah. Okay. We're just this is all trial and error. Alright, now let's try to help us out here. Are we putting We're gonna put it back on, but we're gonna try to go up to halfway up this brick line, which is right here, right? More or less? Yep. Okay, then we're gonna pop this there. <laughs> So, like six inches? Yeah, like okay. this is a good slather. down is it gonna go? Is it to the ground? Oh, yeah. Oh hey there Casey. Hey. Mr. Queen. Hi, Hi. looking good. Hi. 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 Um do you wanna get some gloves? Because we're about to get into the sticky part. Yeah. This is slightly thinner paper. Uh-huh. So Don't go just far. notice okay. if it behaves differently. Yeah, I'm really hoping this fits, but it was a, you know, it was just a pacing measurement, so. Uh -oh. Or would it work over there? Let's see, would it work underneath the rabble rouser? This one? How, how long is it? But we don't know how long those are. You know what I mean? What if those are even longer? Uh, that, works, like, this one will fit. that one will fit there, but what if we... How tall is it? Like? I'm almost uh, feeling like we need to put the pause button on and measure the other one. Let's investigate these lengthwise. I hope it's not too this long. One looks small. This one looks pretty long. Can I this it? One, two, three. Oh. Okay. okay, hang on. One, two, three, four. Four. So this one will fit where we just were. Let's see. Flatten it up there. Okay, down a little on the left. There.
Alexis Smith, and I'm the curatress for Peter Schumann's work of the Bread and Puppet Theater. And today we're here at Rabble Rouser on the side of the building of Rabble Rouser Building. And we are putting another evolution of Off We Go, In and Out, Into the All, um, paintings by Peter Schumann. And I would love everybody to introduce themselves and um, and say their magic words. <laughs> oh, okay. Hello, I am Rachel. Um, what, what else should I share? Your magic words. My magic words? Yeah. I use she, her pronouns. Woo! And I am a writer and liver in life. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I totally circled there. <laughs> we can come back. We can circle back. Yeah. Hi, I'm Casey. Um, this was really fun to put up. Very satisfying. I also use she, her pronouns. Uh, and I live in Plainfield. <laughs> My name is Maya. Um, this, yes, I will second the fact that this was incredibly fun to put up. Um, my magic words are that young people inspire me. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'm Max, and I'm, and I had a, a lot of fun taking this, putting this up. I've been a part of Bread and Puppet for a very long time. I'm a real fanner, and I'm. I love all of this. Thank you very much. Woo! And he's a garbage man. Also. And I'm a garbage man as well. <laughs> and Brooke. Oh yeah, I'm here. I'm a nobody. <laughs> My magic word is no. No. <laughs> I'm a nobody as well. I'm a. We're all nobody. Thank you, yes. thank you, Peter, for making this amazing painting for us. Downtown Montpelier. A lot of people are going to be loving it. Bye. Oh, thank you. Oh,